striving for a European place, need to maintain their recent run of results to stay near the top of the table, while Dundee require the points to continue their rise away from the relegation zone. Dundee United's last two performances against Aberdeen at Petaudry and Rangers at Tannadice are signs that they're emerging from mid-season drifting. The row over Duncan Ferguson is behind them. He's now part of an impressive-looking strike force with Scott Crabb and Paddy Connolly, who caused Rangers particular problems. Earlier in the season, Duncan Ferguson and Paddy Connolly were exceptionally uh, uh, an exceptional pair together, and uh, they definitely were asked to do too much for far too long. And eventually, with having Scott Crabb, uh, it uh, should have uh, meant for far better things than we have had. But uh, unfortunately, we've had uh, off the field problems and other problems, and uh, it's glad that uh, for everybody concerned that uh, things look to be uh, settled down. Dundee had been enjoying a good run as last Saturday's victory over Hibbs testified. Wednesday night's 1 0 defeat by Celtic was a setback as Dundee try to ensure they're well away from the relegation zone. So, will tomorrow's derby be the game to bounce back? I think the players are obviously going to be fired up for it. Uh, as will uh, United's players. Uh, having been involved in two uh, derby matches so far, there's a tremendous atmosphere and there's a great desire to win from, from both sets of players, so it should be a great game. It's one game each in the derby stakes so far this season. United's second half performance in November was decisive, while Ivo Den Beeman's run was crucial in getting the penalty which won the game for Dundee at Tannadice. After being criticised by his manager recently, the big Dutchman may be in the mood to do it again.